All right, so let's create a new design. Let me show you a little bit about what I'm asking you guys to do. I'm asking you to first press R for the rectangle tool. Draw a rectangle. That'll be uh, your um, the edges of your skyscraper. Press P for push-pull. Pull it up. And we can also use the push-pull tool on the sides to adjust the sides if we want. I don't really need to, though. So now I'm going to start to make windows on the side. So again, R for rectangle. I'm going to draw a window. And then let me push-pull this thing to move it in. And I want to show you guys a cool trick. And even if you had seen my video the other day, you might not know this cool trick. So let me give this like kind of a window look to begin with. And now... I'm going to hit the space bar, and the space bar is the same as clicking this right here. It's the select tool. Space bar, select this thing, and now I can easily duplicate this. Watch. Press M for the move tool. There's the move tool. Grab this thing, but then press control while I'm moving it. And once I hit control, it changes to copying. Do you see how the line is red, by the way? That tells me that they're lined up on the x-axis. Okay, if I want them to be lined up on the z-axis, I look for the blue one, and there it is. So I want the red axis. Okay, now let's make two copies of this, not just one. So I let this go, and then I type 2x. I type 2x. Do you see that getting typed down here? 2x. And so now I hit enter, and there we go. It happened twice. Now, I need to move those all a little bit. So let's select them all again. Draw a selection box around the whole thing, like that. Make sure you don't miss any part of it. And I can move it again. Now we can, if we want to, grab this endpoint, start to move it down, press Control again, and let's make a whole another copy of these. And then let's do that again. So again, I'm going to type 2x. And then on the sides, I could do different styles of windows over here. Maybe a door right there. Um, press B for bucket to get my different materials out. And here's where I can go for more materials. Asphalt and concrete. Let's do, I don't know, maybe something like this for the outside. Eh, it's a little ugly. Something a little more subtle maybe. There we go. Nice. Do the whole thing like that. I wanted you guys to do a helicopter pad. I'm going to press C for circle. Try to find the midpoint here. There it is. Come out from there. Let's find the other one here. There it is. That's the that's the midpoint right there. So I can now draw right in the center of the dang thing. Okay? So you literally just move your mouse over to where you want things to snap to, and then you slowly come out from there, and it'll, it'll know what you're talking about. Pull this up with the push-pull tool. Color this a different color, maybe. There we go. And now, let me go ahead and try to put an H for helicopter pad on here. So, you find that right here, where the circle tool and rectangle tool were. Here it is, 3D text. I'm going to click that, type a big old H. I don't want anything fancy. I want, I don't know, maybe this one. It's a big H. And... I'm guessing I don't want the height to actually be one inch, but whatever. Let's leave that alone for now. Hit OK. And put it on here. Can I find the center? Yes, I can. There it is. Center. Click. Well, it's not right in the middle, but that's okay. We can always fix it later. And then if I want to scale this, I think it's S. Yep, S to scale. Grab the corner of it. Scale it up. We don't even have to hold down Shift. Okay, so now I'll press M. Scale that guy down a little. There we go. B for bucket, and let's just get a red here. There we go. Look at that. Nice. Cool. So, this is the kind of thing I'm looking for today, okay? Now, you are asked to also make a park bench on the ground. Please try to figure that out. Um, of course, your... Your, uh building needs to also have things like a door 
more windows, any other features you can think of. Give your building a name, put, put a name up on the side of it, like say the MetLife Building, if you know what that is. Historic MetLife Building, right? You'll see this kind of thing all over the place. It used to be the Pan Am Building. Um, companies like to put their names on buildings. You can go downtown Detroit and see it too. Okay? So that's what I'm asking for. Put a name on the side of the building. Alright? Whatever you want it to be called. Okay. Have fun with it. Actually do it today.